Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set Microsoft Word as your default word processor in Windows. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward process and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This tutorial will apply for Windows 10 computers. So we're going to go ahead and like I said, jump into it here. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in run, so R-U-N. Best match to come back a run here. Go ahead and left click on that. Now I'm going to have something in the description of the video that's going to start with MS settings. I want you guys to copy from my description of my video. And once it's pasted in the open field, we want to left click on OK. Now you want to scroll down on this page until you find the area that says choose default apps by file type. So go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to scroll down on this page until you get to the dot .doc section. So DOC. Right here. And you want to make sure Word is selected for the ones you see here. So click inside of each of these options here and you want to select Word from the list. So again, make sure Word is selected so where it says choose an app. So select whatever current app is selected by default and then make sure Word is chosen from the list. So pretty straightforward process on that front, guys. Again, you also want to probably make sure dot .doc, dot .docx is pretty popular as well. And once you know with that, if you click this little back arrow up at the top, and you want to scroll down, you can set defaults by app, so go ahead and lock click on that. Scroll down here. Until you find Word and left click on it. Select Manage. And then make sure that all the options in here are currently being managed by Word so you can confirm that they are saved in here. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.